Narwhals and rock jaws, everyone. Two very different sides of the very same coin. One neutral and very timid. The other one is gonna bite the frickin' head off of anything that bloody moves. These ocean-dwelling mobs are some of my favorite additions to the sea, even if they're a pain in the butt to get a handle on. But let's discuss. And we'll begin with how they both spawn. Narwhals and rock jaws have a 7.5% chance to spawn with any school of fish that spawns along the way. And as we know from just yesterday, schools of fish spawn every 15 seconds to a minute. Narwhals themselves, though, are neutral to us, preferring just to do some fishing themselves as they love themselves some meat-based foods. In fact, they love it so much that if you can even manage to feed them some, they will become your or friend, occasionally throwing items afloat on the water to you, and of course, fighting what you do. It's cool, but getting them to actually eat the meat itself is incredibly annoying, even if you use other meat to lure them, which is entirely possible. But whatever the case, with how often fish spawn, narwhals are going to be a pretty common sight, I'd say. So, what happens when we aren't so friendly with them? Well, say you get a hit in. Preferably with a ranged weapon, mind you. A narwhal will dive beneath the surface and our boat in order to puncture a hole right on through it. Like cookie cutters, it only takes a couple seconds for it to fully form. So, you best be ready. Especially with some boat patches, as you're going to have a large leak on your hands. Oddly though, narwhals go right back to being neutral afterwards. So, that's a thing. But what's also a thing is the narwhal's horn. No, seriously, the horn itself is an item obtainable both through a narwhal's death or by breaking it off once it actually does puncture your boat. Doing so is going to leave a small leak instead of a large one. And once again, the narwhal's just going to be fine with that, I guess. That said, an aggroed narwhal without a torn will actually now choose to leap out of the water and splash waves towards you and your boat pushing you and perhaps getting yourself wet. Honestly though, nothing to worry about unless you're near some sea stacks. And really the only damage a narwhal can do to you is if it hits you when it punctures your boat. At the end of the day, narwhals truly are just innocent creatures who don't really wish to be bothered with at all. And this has just kind of helped through their aggro overall and I get it, but it's still annoyingly difficult to actually murder these things if you want to. Then again, why would you want to? Because you don't have to. The horn is the only thing that matters, so if you get it, you're done. Sure, they drop four raw fish, but eight health and 25 hunger for both raw or cooked variants is nothing to hold high. Now, if you fix their aggro and bump the fish steak back up to its shipwrecked levels of health restoration, then we'd be talking. So for now, the horn is going to be the focus. A narwhal's horn is an equipable item that when used on the water creates waves that push floating objects, kelp, boats, and more. The biggest use is very likely the pushing of kelp closer to the shore, for as we know, kelp could very well be another superfood in this game. Just remember, you only have 10 uses each. However, that's not all we can do with the horns. We can fork over three of them, some kelp and twigs, for the strident trident, a unique weapon only craftable, mind you, after you kill the Crab King. It is certainly expensive and hard to get to, and may not actually be all that great overall. However, for all that it does, it could be worth it, I guess. Playing the Strident Trident can break sea stacks and salt formations, launch fish out of the water and potentially onto land for you, and could heavily damage boats as the geysers it produce cause big time leaks. But that's not even all. Said geysers deal a whopping 85 damage to anything they hit, which could be quite helpful, but it's pretty finicky in their hit detection. And at the end of the day, the strident trident could be used for melee. It does but 27.2 damage to targets on land. However, that jumps to 68 damage a hit while you're on the water. So 
There you go. But speaking of fighting on the water, rock jaw time. Folks, these guys are bloody hostile to bloody everything. But they too have some dumb aggro mechanics, choosing to just swim away for a time after every engagement with the players. So honestly, I really do think Clay needs to fix the aggro of these ocean mobs. When they are attacking, however, they leap up onto our boats and send a flurry of attacks our way. Area of effect attacks too, so multiple people are gonna get hit, so mind that. Each bite also does 30 damage, and they strike three times in very quick succession, and will continuously hit you if you stand near them. So yes, they are pretty darn tough for just a simple mob out there, especially with that thousand health to boot. It's not that hard just to dodge the first three bites and then get to one to two hits in over and over and over again as you constantly chase them down across the ocean, but I have noticed that they aren't the sharpest fish in the sea. Rock jaws run ground in the land and the borders of the ocean very often, and sorta kinda just get stuck there. So approach with caution, or just range weapon them to death. But once more, I wouldn't say that this is all worth it, as they only drop four raw fish for the time being. But one last fun thing before we wrap. They truly are arch enemies, it seems, as narwhals are such friendly and forgiving beasts. But as soon as a rock jaw shows up, it is game on, folks. Fight, fight, fight. And one final note if you attack one rock jaw, all the rock jaws nearby are gonna come bite you in the face. And there you have it, one narwhals and rock jaws. Honestly, Two really cool mobs that could really use just a couple tweaks to make them even cooler. Specifically, their aggro nonsense. I love that they spawn in the same way. Because at some point, you're going to get a friendly one. At another point, you might be running for your life. It's a great touch, and I hope to see more great things from them down the line. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.